again i don't want to keep you i don't want to keep you all waiting uh the system is not working is not working so i don't have to uh keep you all waiting and uh and uh, nobody is uh, seeing me so the system is not working and i don't have to keep people waiting so i have to work on this work on this system until when it is working then of course i will bring out one day we can we can we can just talk and uh, this whole agitation is not something that we just have to go all out sometimes we have to because i have come to see that uh, that uh, the uh, the people who are claiming there is no love in Biafra and all that are those who are actually one diehard one Nigerians and those who have embraced Biafra knows that immediately you embrace Biafra you will know that your mentality about your fellow Biafra will automatically change so the people who are saying that uh, Biafrans are not united should join the Biafra agitators to see whether it is true or not so i am going to go off very soon i just want to tell you for the last time so you don't keep on waiting because this thing is not working as as i expected so i thank you this evening all of you who have joined me and uh, as soon as uh, i'll fix this whole thing it will be uh, easier for me. But anyway, let me call. Let me recognize those who join me this evening. Bob Reason Onwe, thank you for watching me. Saludo Michael, thank you for celebrating my birthday today for watching me. Phil Joshua Aham, thank you for watching me. Thank you, Anose Joseph, for watching me. Tony Mento Akuma, thank you for watching me today and celebrating my birthday. Chima Ozo Chuku, thank you for watching me. Uh, King Solomon Obodo, thank you for watching me. This last uh, video that I did the, today, I was explaining about this Northern Governors. Please, you people must have to share that video. Let it go and start ringing bell to all the leaders, all the Southerners. It's that video must go and start ringing bell. And I'm urging other agitators, other critics, other analysts to start bombarding the internet, to start bombarding the news media. It is time this the southerners come together especially they are from the governors they should come together and start putting things in place to counter the northern uh, governors uh, forum this they must have do, they, this they must have to do as in, as urgent as possible because there is no time so i am urging every analyst every uh, uh social media blogger every newspaper you people must begin to talk and discuss this issue that has that has been a, the biggest political fraud in nigeria for decades now uh uh kitchen do thank you for joining me and thank you for celebrating my birthday today cash cow dk lond ikemba edwin ugo obuchi thank you omeje patient thank you britain a woman thank you uh emu wen thank you for joining me, Jerry Ewins. Thank you for joining me this evening. James Chibuikem, thank you. Winifred Eze, thank you for joining me from Belgium. I see you. My sister Winifred Eze Abuja, watching from uh, Dubai. I see you. Ugo Chuku Hadrock Edoka, thank you for joining me and celebrating my birthday today. Don Greg Everest, Lawrence Okechuku, thank you for joining me, Mr. Lawrence. Ben Benz, thank you for joining me this evening. Emmanuel Anaba, thank you for joining me. Obi Simon, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Obi, yes, in IPOB, they are a lot. Thank you for joining me. Jabless, thank you for joining me. Anthony David, thank you for wishing me a, happy, a very happy birthday. Chinyere Mwachuku, thank you for joining me this evening. Uh, Friday, Peter, thank you for being part of this broadcast and no more michael thank you david irwa makai thank you for joining me yes i see you ike chukula kesta ngu thank you for joining me choma thank you for joining me obiageli ezu ezebo my own sister thank you for joining me from italy uh no um oscar ihana cho thank you rich edu biafra thank you for joining me ike chuku williams ifanye thank you for joining me don pope thank you for joining me Emmanuel Obonaya, thank you for joining me. Mona Link Umezurike, thank you for joining me. 
Yes, I see you also, Destiny Omoru. Thank you for joining me, Destiny. Thank you, Anthony. Yes, from Italy, you are watching. Chine Duchime, thank you. Pablo Emmanuel, Frank Freeman, Don Newton, Anyam Kenneth, Anthony Conti, David Adioha, Raymond Eddie K. Thank you. Bless you too. Hugo Don, it's Zubes. Thank you, Evan Eze Ebuka, Italian, Millie Mills, Aronix Namako. Thank you for joining me, Emi Don, Emekan Dife, Banabas, Anya Okore, Ben Luke Okore. Thank you for wishing me a very happy birthday, Josie Santos, Antonio Carfo, Kinsele Destiny, Chumi Johnson, Paul, uh, Paul and Motos Ike. Thank you for joining me, Emmanuel Onono, Kuchin, Erewanchuku, Kalistus, Ntebulam. Ihana Cho, Eric, Michael, Jofo, thank you. Arinze, thank you. Ezeribe, thank you. Yes, and somebody also made a comment concerning the explanation, uh, clarification I gave about the census in the U.S. that I didn't mention others. Yes, that is why I said if anybody have other questions, they can they can go, they can continue to ask for, for further explanation and clarification. Of course, yes, they are in that session. They have other, you can choose Biafra and all that. So this issue of, uh, of uh, people being uh, uh, skeptical or being confused or about this uh, whole census in America should have been put to rest today. And any other question that may arise, we are ready to answer those questions. Best Princella, Senorita, Faith Frederick, Ojo Michael from South Africa, thank you. Chris Ede, thank you. Noye Harry, thank you for watching me. Emma Omenka, thank you. Chris Brown, thank you. Amike Buldon, thank you for watching me. Thank you, Patient Ihaku Uduara, thank you for wishing me a very happy birthday. Patricia Iforma, Iwe Bonaya, thank you. Justin Chris, Celestine Ede, Ike Nachuku Emeki Hedioha, thank you for watching me. Evangelist David Aja, thank you for joining me this evening. Harry Brown, Archibo, Archi, Archigod, Archinagod, Archinagod, thank you for watching me. Ogo Chris Ugochuku, thank you for watching me. Eze Junior, thank you for watching me. And also, I want to use this opportunity to correct another misconception of so many people because uh, I was watching a video today where some people were discussing about uh, some people who are doing well in the agitation and people who are not doing well in the agitation. Of course, like I have always said, it is not a must that you 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 join uh, Biafra agitators or, or don't join them. But the most important thing is that you have to support those who are agitating. You have to show affection to them. You have to support them in your prayers and don't talk bad again about them. Don't castigate them. Everybody who have come out to join this struggle knows exactly why they have joined and why they are coming to join. And I want to also make it very clear for those who are thinking that some of the agitators, of course, we don't go into the minds of people and into, the, into their head and all that. But when you, when you come across uh, genuine, genuine people who are genuinely looking for freedom of their people, you don't need to think twice, you know them. And I want to tell those who are thinking that some people want to get politically uh, relevant with Biafra agitators or something like that. Of course, people can have that kind of thing in mind to get politically relevant and all that. But I will tell you, somebody like people like me or somebody someone like me or people like us don't have anything to get uh, in nigeria don't have anything to get politically relevant in nigeria if somebody like me want to go into nigeria politics first of all i will tell you one thing today about nigeria politics if you want to join nigeria politics first of all you have to become a criminal and not everybody want to be a criminal so for you to go to be successful in Nigeria politics, you must become a successful criminal. So because the people who are, of course, not all of them, not all of the, or not all the, poli all the politicians in Nigeria are criminal, but the 99% of them are criminals. So for you to be successful in Nigeria politics, you must first of all become a hardened criminal. And that is why nothing is working in Nigeria. So no sane person, will, no really sane person, you know, will uh, will uh, wake up uh, and carry his bag from a Western world and start going to Nigeria to join politics, even when they are, even when they stand the, ch uh, the chance of doing very well in political sphere in Nigeria. But not every same person will want to do that. Somebody like me will not do that, even though I have opportunity if I want to go to join Nigeria politics. But I cannot join Nigeria politics because 
I don't want to be a criminal. Because when you join Nigeria politics, you must be a criminal. And a, a lot of things has proven it. There are people who have left uh, Western world and go to Nigeria and they gave them one, one appointment or the, or the other with a high hope that they are going to turn everything around and they, they end up becoming the worst. So, and uh, it is not, it is, uh, so anybody with human conscience, with clean hand and clean heart cannot go and join Nigeria politics because you can't make any change. And apart from that, you cannot make any change with the criminality and the Fulani people involved, even make it very uh, impossible. So that is why most of us who have seen that the Nigeria can never work again. Apart from that, there, there are sponsory terrorism and corruption is in the high, the high, the highest level and all that. In nobody with conscience, with human conscience, will go and join Nigeria politics and they expect to do wonder. You cannot do wonder, they will not allow you to do anything. When Amechi, for example, the Amechi of River State, Amechi of River State use it to 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 mock some some of the people in uh, in in uh, in diaspora that he brought people from America and all that and appointed them commissioner. Every time they ask him, this is what he say. They uh, he appointed them and brought them to 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 River State to be commissioner. And what did they do? Of course, they didn't do anything because you can't do anything in a corrupt environment. You can't do anything in a place where everybody is a criminal, including the Amechi himself. Everybody have seen how he's been accused of uh, of uh, squandering and uh, looting the River State uh, uh, money and sponsoring Buhari in 2015, and uh, and uh, those things has never been investigated until now. Even even it has not been it may never be investigated. So how can a commissioner do well under your watch when you are embezzling the money that is meant to develop the, the River State? And do, so how can you expect? How can you bring somebody? That is the point. You bring somebody from America and you come. You bring them and appoint them as commissioner, and then you cage them with your corruption. And then you come later on to say you brought people from America. What did they do? How can they do something when you you are the biggest corruption? in the in the state and even in nigeria and in general because you single-handedly sponsor apc in 2015 where did the money come from so you yeah, and he continued to make this comment each time they tell him about people in diaspora he will always say make a reference i brought people from america and they appointed the commissioner what did they do why would they do anything when your corruption could not allow them to work? And so, nobody, anybody thinking that uh, some people who are coming to agitation, agitate for Biafra and want to get political relevant, I don't see the sense in it. I don't see the sense in it. Maybe people can think like that, but no same person will come and be fighting for the freedom of your people, to uh, uh, his people to to get political relevant. Meanwhile, those kind of people, somebody like somebody like me, if I want to be political relevant in Nigeria, I will go to Nigeria and join the criminal. And I don't want to join criminals in Nigeria because every politician in Nigeria, the ninety nine percent of them or ninety percent of them are criminals, and that is why you see them. Nothing is working in Nigeria. Because first of all, you have to have talks, and Biafra, we don't want that. You have to have, you have people with uh, AK-47 to start killing people during the election. In Biafra, we don't want to have that because Biafra will be run by people who are who have uh, experience. It is not even I don't even I'm, I'm not even looking at myself. But the point is that Biafra uh, 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 government will be run on merit. You must have experience in what you want to do or what you are going to be appointed. I believe that and it is going to be democracy. Not like the Nigeria you have today that during election you will see people carrying guns. You see soldiers from Barak, they come and start shooting guns, scaring people and carrying ballot paper. And the election result is written in the hotel room in Abuja. Like this one of Hope Uzodima today that they have uh, illegally installed as governor of Imo State. So these are the things, and this is this uh, criminal activity. So for you to be a politician in Nigeria, you have to first of all have a criminal mind, and not everybody have that kind of mind to be criminal. And you see your people suffering, and nothing is working. No infrastructure, no hospital, no 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 social services, no nothing, no insurance, nothing is no no road, no nothing is working in that country. So anybody that is thinking that people are just coming to agitate for Biafra to get politically relevant, well, you can have the opinion, but that is really that really doesn't make sense to me. So I am uh, urging those people who are always carrying carrying uh, those kind of rumors or somebody want to get relevant or somebody want to get, uh, I don't understand, you know, to just mind 
the way they are doing their own agitation. If you want to join Biafra agitator, your agitators, you come and join Biafra agitators and be part of history making and be part of liberating your people, not side talking and gossiping and all that. It doesn't take you anywhere. It doesn't take anybody anywhere. You only make noise and gossip about people. Meanwhile, we are focused and making sure we are bringing Nigeria down. And so instead of you to talk ill or talk bad about the people who agitated for Biafra, use that energy and do how you want to do, how, you know, make sure you do what you are doing with your group to see, because everything you are doing is making impact in disintegration of Nigeria. That I can assure you. Every little thing you are doing is making its own impact in the disintegration of Nigeria. So I'm encouraging you, stop talking, wasting your energy and talking on people who are agitating. Focus on what you are doing and let us come, let us do this together and disintegrate Nigeria and have our freedom and freedom of our people. Thank you. Now let me start again. Three minutes more I will go because this uh, the whole system I wanted to use today is not working like I expected. Uh, Patrick Ifanye, they thank you, King Smith, thank you, Azi Peters, thank you for wishing me happy birthday, Okolo, thank you for wishing me happy birthday, uh, MC Chooks, thank you for wishing me, wishing me happy birthday, Park Omar Rushako, thank you, Happening Okoye, thank you, Uche Daniel, thank you for wishing me happy birthday, Oluchuku George, thank you for wishing me happy birthday, Elon Frank Kenechi, thank you for joining Okolo Emeka, thank you, Bishop Naji, thank you, Ralph Bello, thank you, Ekene Godson, thank you, Anibweze Chuku Emeka, thank you, Kissy Apensive, thank you, Elon Frank, yes, thank you for wishing me happy birthday, Onye Boom Ogona, thank you for wishing me happy birthday, Marcusin Smart, thank you, Ogoluchi, thank you, Jesus Boy Prince, thank you, Emeka, Emeretu Suwa, thank you, Valentin Tino, thank you, Ome Penny, thank you, uh, Stam Udeze, thank you, Akintola, Matthew Ademola, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Okochi Mark, thank you, Anselm Ojuki, thank you, Denoke Chukugu, thank you, Stanley Chukudi, thank you, Ezihe Buka, Ezihe Books, thank you, Ezeribe, Ezekiel, thank you, Olabo De, Olabo De, thank you, my own Olabo De, uh, thank you, uh, Parker Charles, thank you, Chinyere Mwachuku, thank you, Amanze Izuagu, thank you. Akintola Matio Ademola, thank you. Uh, yes, Nigeria will be disintegrated. It will never work again. Mr. Akintola Matio Ademola, Nigeria will never work again. If you are thinking that Nigeria is going to work, you better begin to think again. Nigeria can never work again. The way the rottenness in Nigeria today doesn't suggest that there is even 20% chance that Nigeria will work again. Nigeria is, is, is have been reduced to, to zero and it has decayed. And has decayed finally, so Nigeria can never work again. Yes, Olori Olusegun, we are staying focused. Thank you, Olori Olusegun. We are staying focused. Nothing is deterring us. We are not losing focus. We are staying focused. And I got Charles. Thank you, Patrick Ifani Ede. Thank you from Botswana. Felix, thank you. Mumbeve Aondosere. Uh, thank you. Thank you for wishing me happy birthday. Chuku Emi Onyeko Kafo Ostino Uzo Chuku the Timothy Young Eva Simon Igwe. Uh, thank you, Chijo Kemu Udogu. Thank you, Obianyechi. Thank you, Sunday Ude, Kent Chima, Walter Eberechi. Thank you for joining me. Good news, Chuku, Chuku Zim. Yes, good news. You wanted to speak with me today. Unfortunately, this is not working very well. Uh, thank you also, Jessica Iben Didi. Thank you, Temple Raymond. Thank you for wishing me be happy birthday. My own George Ume watching live. Thank you, George Ume. My own brother, George Ume. Thank you for watching me, Oliver. Aida, thank you. Ionic, uh, thank you. Namako, thank you. Thank you, Chukwemeka Benson. Thank you, Darlington Ugo, Ugoke Amaichina. Thank you for wishing me happy birthday. Ndubisi, oh, Peter, thank you. Ike Mefuna, Peter, Sam Magden, thank you. Thank you, Chinyere Wachuku. Yes. Uh, your message was for the U.S. Census. Please, my people, all help Biafra. Yes, everybody must help Biafra. Aja Williams, my own Aja Williams, thank you for watching me. Thank you for a wonderful birthday wishes. Festus Ava, Ava, Festus Agaf Bere, thank you for joining me. Ifani Chris Chris, Top City Junior, 
Thank you. Ubachi Mwachuku, Steve Amaechi, Spencer Chima, Olabo Deyes. I see you again. Thank you. Udobi Charles, Prince John, Baron Godwin, Eze Peter, Prince Chibwaik, Domino Chim, Chim, uh, Wachimere, Amechi Anselm, Nze Holding Ben, Kinsley Wabem, Chizoba Umaha. People should remember that this is my birthday. I'm just, I'm using this time to make sure I call as many names as possible because you people have prayed for me so much today and it is, has been a very wonderful, wonderful day for me with this whole prayer and good wishes. Yes, Elias Opara, thank you uh, for joining me, Elias. Amechi Anselm, I see you. Francis Ezato, Patrick, you day. Thank you, uh, Joseph Chuku Obidi. Thank you, Edward Ehizioje Abuhel Abuhelimen. Thank you for joining me, Chuku uh, Kelwe Ozumba. Thank you, Ibuwa Baluchi Buike Peter Otogile. Thank you, good evening for, to you as well. Ibe Sonde Onyekachi. Uh, yes, thank you, Eduwe Courage. Thank you for joining me and wishing me happy birthday. EJK Destiny Wilson. Uguzi Onoke Chuku, Ike Obi Jako, thank you, Emmanuel Anyangu, Luchi Obi, Tony Chesi, Elias Ifanyi, Onyoma Matthew LG, thank you, yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, Onyoma Matthew LG, you will not rest, you will not rest, you will not rest today, I have called you, I remember you, yes, I will call you, please, yeah, I, of course, I cannot call everybody because the names are much here, but I will try as much as possible. But let me call you again, Onyoma Matthew LG. I call you, I see you. Uh, thank you, Paul Hills. Thank you, Anyangu Uzochuku. Yes, thank you, uh, Eze Wuluchi Chibuike. Thank you, Joe Collins. Thank you, Ozegbe Chooks, uh, Mike, Michael MC Enzo. Jerry Great, thank you. Akintola Kola, uh, Akintola Kola Wale Olushegun, thank you. My Yoruba brother David Izu, thank you. Noel Nonso Onyechi Mereze, thank you. Solomon Ume, thank you. From Senegal, Omunakwe Okechuku Godwin, thank you for joining me and wishing me happy birthday. Okechuku Okechuku, thank you. Okay, Abbasilemu, thank you. Ezeko Mayo, thank you. Prince Kenya Manuel, thank you. Ato O Abude, thank you. Joy Ne, thank you. Peter Emeka, thank you. Bro Ezif, yes. Yeah, thank you very much for joining me today. Tizoba Pascal, Ayo Ato Batele, thank you for joining me. Uh, Alice Kevin, thank you. Victor Oriapu, thank you. Mazik Celestine Oba, thank you. Akintola Mantio, yes, I see you. Uh, my worry is why state and local government can't work. What is wrong with our governors? Yes, we, everybody is asking that question. What is wrong with the governors? I don't know anything that is wrong with them, but it is time we begin to talk and let uh, talk sense into them. Emeka Mwankwa, thank you for joining me. Steve Tohan, thank you. Okay, Chuku Williams, if I need, thank you. Pesiva Witt, thank you, Glorious Christian Chapel International. Glorious Christian Chapel International from Austria. Thank you, your, your wonderful you people are doing wonderful. I have watched your videos as well from Austria. Happy birthday, yes, thank you for wishing me birthday. It's, uh, it's uh, Ugoni Obichuku uh, Udo Ada. Thank you, Rafael Ifanyi, Mere Namdi Sonny. Chuku Dire, thank you. Edwin Ugo, thank you. Innocent Upong, thank you. Uh, your cake is uh, here with me. Of course, coronavirus couldn't allow me to send cake because you know now they are using coronavirus to give excuse, all kind of excuses. Even before coronavirus outbreak in China, uh, some uh, president in Africa already postponed the election that is supposed to hold uh, next year, 2021 to 2023. So let me use that opportunity to give excuse with this coronavirus that the cake, that is what is delaying the cake. Thank you also, Evangeline Iheme, Anderson Uchena, Chijo, Chijo Kemu Odogu, Anthony O. David. Thank you. 
uh thank you juliet ak emeka chris memsi enzo yes i see you before robert osu chuku thank you henry shalom chike thank you chime zengosu thank you gozia glory thank you emmanuel philip jude eric chijoke chizom caleb thank you for watching me today yes happiness is when you remember that a man like you was made just thank you apostle thank you Lanze Clem, thank you very much. Austin OB, thank you. Osha Ken Osha, Yusuf Buba, Yusuf Buba, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Stanley Chukwebuka Eze, Chine Du Onwe, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Please, will this code 19 negatively affect Biafra 1 million man march to the Washington, D.C.? Well, I have addressed that issue in the live video, the other live video. Of course, the two, uh, June 20 is still too far, but we don't know how far it will take for all this lockdown and border closures to be uh, the whole uh, coronavirus issue to be sorted out. But we believe that we have at least three months ahead of this uh, one million March in Washington, D.C. So we have time and we are believing that uh, three months should be enough to solve this whole coronavirus issue. So thank you for that question. And Naju uh, Onyekachi, remain blessed. Thank you to Valentine Mwabaria. Uh, thank you, Okoye Ken. Thank you, Chris uh, Ogebe. Thank you, Daniel Chinedu. Thank you, Chuku Kelwe Ozumba. Thank you, G Star Page. Yes, thank you, John Billiard. Thank you, Francis Ume. Thank you, Ino Keng Chi Mwabweze Odinachi. Thank you, Sydney of Ebunam. Thank you, Onyama Christopher. Thank you. Thank you uh, also, Opala Chine Du. Thank you, Canton Obina, Tochi Uzo, Victor Okafo. Victor Okafo from Finland. Thank you for being with me this evening from Finland. Thank you, Ugo Bueze. <coughs> Ugo Bueze, Eze Ugona. Thank you for your wonderful birthday messages. Thank you, Ifani Madu. Thank you for being with me this evening. Ikevilo Oko. Thank you, Ubese Ubede C Ubede. Thank you, Charles Chuku Ka Eze. Thank you, Emeka Dibia. Thank you, Banabas Prince. Thank you for joining me and celebrating my birthday today. Augustin Ike Chuku Prince Don Saint. Thank you for your birthday wish. Victor Oriaku, Oriaku, thank you for being with me from Jordan this evening. Charles Kezier, thank you, my brother Charles, for wishing me a very wonderful birthday. Amy Don, thank you. Sonny Shell, thank you for being with me. Bukanze, Emmanuel Oraguna, John Paul Uju, thank you. Ugo James Erua, thank you. Michael Boribe, thank you. Frank Chibuzo, Thank you, my brother, Elena Chuku Emeka. Thank you, Chooks. Thank you, JJ Emeka Son. Okobuem Ben. Thank you for being with me this evening. I have to go. My strength is going. Ndi Osi Iyame Holo. Thank you for joining me. Ndi Izuzubwe Ibonile. Thank you from Italy. I see you. Thank you for joining me this evening and time for your birthday wish from Italy. Uh, Michael Boriba, thank you. Uh, Uche Chuku Ono Kuo, thank you. Watching me from Ireland, thank you. Yes, Ola Bode Ola Dele, today is your day. Thank you, Ola Bode, for joining me and wishing me happy birthday today. Emmanuel Ejekam, thank you. Watching from Senegal, thank you, Henry Otule Eke, thank you very much for your wishes. Watching from Texas, USA. Uh, thank you, Kenna Maxi. Thank you also for your wishes. Young Eva, thank you from South Africa. Uh, Ken Smart Johnson, can thank you. Watching from Malta. Thank you also, Chukwe Buka Dave. Uh, Mazi Afamefula, thank you. Abba, thank you. Don Sami, thank you. Uh, Chinyere Wachuku, thank you very much for joining me this evening. Uh, thank you, Ifansi Onye Connect. Thank you, Jude Eric. Thank you, Cosmos, Ch uh, Cosmos Chikasin Edabo Matthew Sunday Ogeze. Thank you, 
Chijo, okay. Akanji, thank you for watching me this evening. Frank Chibuzo, Fred Chuku, Daniel David, Mwenwa Okoye, thank you. Joshua Ike Chuku, thank you for joining me and celebrating my birthday. Chi Boy Augustus, thank you for your birthday wishes. Obina Robert, Chiomanwa Chuku, thank you for your wishes today. Joe Collins, Ifo Manwobodo, thank you for your wishes. Precious Dennis, thank you. Prince Tony, Ifo Manwobodo, thank you. John Paul Uji, thank you. Bona Christmas, thank you. For your wishes today, Chigoziata, thank you. Onyike Nana Kalo Onyike, thank you. Kash Ikash Ikash, thank you. Udefe Uden Zube, thank you. Austin Chigozia, thank you. Emi Don, thank you. Thank you for your from Spain. Emi Don, thank you for your wishes and may God bless you as well. If any Chris Chris, what you might your chin do? Uh, nice push. Uh, Wonderful job. Thank you for your wishes. Also, Oji Matthew Chinedu, MMMM. Thank you, Kinsili Ugo. Thank you, Don Richie Scotty. Thank you, Chimeze Chukuru Thank you, Nadi Greeny. Thank you, Ochendo Okija. Thank you, Evangelist David Aja. Thank you, Anthony Bo. Thank you, watching from Lebanon. Lilian Chine Meremu Ago. Thank you. Franklin E.K., thank you for your birthday wishes. Simboa, thank you. Crypto Jax, thank you. Uh, Nebechi Tio, thank you. James Mba Omar, thank you. Uh, Vern Chooks, uh, Vajor C, thank you. Samuel Obi, thank you. Chooks Cristiano, thank you for your birthday wishes. Chuku Kelue Ozumba, thank you. Ochendo Kija, yes. Hip Hop One Family Obu. Chine do as the honor do as the honor do thank you Odemenam Chine Merem thank you Harrison Odogu thank you uh Wachine Merem Chi thank you thank you for joining me this evening Obina Eze thank you DK thank you Rock Goodness thank you for your, your wishes Francis Chuku Ferdinand thank you Chima Williams thank you Bless Ugo thank you uh for your wishes this evening and here I am stopping and I want to thank you all who have brought out your time and have uh, come to wish me and write all these wonderful messages today. You have lifted my spirits very high and like you all know, our freedom, the freedom of our people is no retreat, no surrender. It is going to be from the beginning till the end, either Biafra or Biafra Freedom. Thank you for all your messages and how you people celebrated me today. I appreciate. I want to thank all the IPOB worldwide. I want to appreciate uh, Marze Namdikano, the leader of IPOB worldwide. I want to appreciate Uche, Uche Mefo, which Mafia also uh, celebrated my birthday as well. My greetings to you, brother. My greetings to you. I want to appreciate other uh, agitating group, Mosob, BZM, NL, Lower Niger Congress, all of you. You guys are doing wonderfully well. Everything you are doing today is impacting on something in this Biafra and Nigeria disintegration. I want to thank you and recognize all of you for the wonderful job you have done in this struggle for Nigeria, disintegration and freedom of Biafra. Every group, anywhere you are in the world, I greet you and appreciate the work all of you have done so far. We will continue and there is nothing that is stopping us. Biafra is already here. A lot of people, when they come on social media, they will say it is this kind of delusion that Biafra is na na na, that the people are deceiving people, Biafra is na na na. And the thing that sometimes baffles me is that will you look at what is going on in Nigeria today and you are thinking that Nigeria is surviving, surviving it? Nigeria can never survive it. Nigeria can never survive the state that the economy of Nigeria and the tribal differences the crisis, the terrorism, everything that you can think of that is in Nigeria today. I don't think anybody will come. All these people that comes to start shouting when Nigeria still surprises me. And like I said, 
the only reason is that most of them their hands are stained their hands are stained with corruption their hands are stained with criminality and those who are not publicly shouting for biafra may think that their businesses and interests will be attacked by the funani government which is true and cannot totally be ruled out it is true because you can use what happened just recently i'm not talking about what has been happening all this while but what happened recently in yoruba land in lagos state as you see when the fulani movement came to uh, to claim responsibility for the bomb blast in abulado that because yoruba people have uh, instituted amotecon for that reason whether they are, not, they are now attacking and bombarding lagos so these are the thing the interest when the interest when you try to protect yourself in nigeria they will attack your interest so those who are not coming vocal or publicly to shout uh, the disintegration of nigeria of course a lot of them are afraid they are afraid because the fulanese the uh, the tactics they are used are working on them the tactics is hostility is terrorism if you talk we kill you if you talk we burn your houses if you talk we destroy your houses and almost every politician in nigeria is adopting these tactics which is very dangerous which is why i call them criminals if you are not uh, i'm not citing any political party or any political or any politician but let us look at what happened in Edo state in Edo state and in other part in other in other states uh, other part of nigeria as well in uh, in uh, Kwara state they demolished the uh, saraki's uh, uh, home they claim that saraki uh, took the house from uh, the or the, the saraki family or dynasty or however they call them took the land from uh, the owners or the house from the owners and of course they have uh, dominated Kwara for many years and when they are out of power the next thing the governor did was to go and demolish the house and and then uh, that is the interest so of course because because uh, because uh, uh, the interest of uh, of uh, Saraki is now in question if Saraki has supported this APC government and continue to to make sure that they come to power if you think they will demolish the house they will never demolish the house the house should have been there or even up to now if saraki if saraki was still supporting the the government from the beginning and that is why that is i'm not saying that it is it was right for saraki family to take uh, the land that doesn't belong to them or that it was uh, or that it was right for this uh, uh, new government to demolish the house. what i'm saying is that i'm trying to explain why a lot of people I have decided not to come publicly because they f the fear of their interest being attacked, like the businesses and their structures and all that, and it is happening. And what I'm why I'm saying this is that not even the Fulani and the terrorist government alone that I have adopted uh, adapted these tactics of uh, of uh, of hostility and terrorism when you when their interest is in question. But the politicians, ordinary politicians from the west, from the southern part of Nigeria, have also adopted this very dangerous uh, precedence they are setting. That whenever somebody opposition do something and you don't like it, what they will do once the person is become a uh, vocal or start criticizing your government, the next thing you do is to look for his interest and begin to attack that interest and the interest can be structure it can be business and all that so i use saraki as an example so saraki was against apc and immediately apc come to, to power they attacked him they attacked his family house the, which is the interest here and destroyed it and nothing anybody can do about it because they are in power and now in a do state for example the other opposition the uh, the man who uh, the man called somebody called kabak i don't know who he is but I have watched a video or, you know, at least some report. The man called Kabaka is against the governor because the Kabaka is with uh, uh, this uh, APC chairman, uh, Oshimole, Oshimole, or whatever it's called, uh, camp. So, and of course, for being in the camp of the opposition, the governor went and demolished his, his hotel in Edo State. And this is this exactly the same thing. So it is, it is when you talk, they come against and attack your interests and attack your businesses and attack everything that so everybody most of those who are not talking now doesn't mean that they don't fight for biafra or the biafra is not in their mind and we understand that so that is why whenever we are talking we know how we are talking and those like i said today 
conduct referendum today in Nigeria and everybody will be shocked, including the people who think that they are in Abuja. All of them are Biafra, including all the Southeast, all the South, all the South South governors. All of them, if you go into their mind today, Biafra is ringing bell, but because they are corrupt. And immediately they start talking Biafra, they will first of all attack them. And how do we do this? The diplomatic way in from international community. And people will say, nobody will give you freedom. International community will not give you freedom. And they will begin to make references to ages. You don't know that what is what worked yesterday will not work today. The world is revolving and changing all the time. You need to live with the present and not with the past. So the thing that worked for, for somebody in Venezuela, in, uh, the thing that worked for Yugoslavia will not work this day. The thing that work, worked in Soviet Union may not work this day. The thing that worked in the past may not work this day. So every day things are changing and different people are using different approach to achieve so many things. So that is what the what we are doing. We are living in present and this agitators, this agitation is living, we agitating in the present and not in the past. And of course the past will be will be looked into to see how it will it will affect or impact the present. So that is my message for you today. Thank you for your birthday wishes and again once again and have a wonderful weekend. Make sure you subscribe to my live video if you if you are not if you no longer receive my uh, alert just go back to my page like the page follow the page and for those if your friends uh, if your friends are complaining they don't normally they don't no longer see my uh, my live broadcast or my videos and all that just tell them this thing go to the page like the page follow the page and if you have done that and you are still not getting my uh, live broadcast and notification then go to any of my live broadcast video click on it to watch you will see it will pop out that subscribe to live broadcast and once you click subscribe you will definitely be getting notification anytime i come live online thank you very much and have a wonderful evening